95% of chemicals in synthetic fragrances are derived from petrochemicals causing cancer, birth defects, nervous system disorder, and allergies. Fragrance, toxic ingredient. I wish, I wish, I just wish somebody told me this way before. I'm gonna talk about why you should avoid fragrance in the skincare products. So let me tell you a little bit of background about me. I am the owner of skincare brand Gin Amber Beauty. I do create my products. I have um, four serums, creams, some masks, some cleansers. Um, all my products are clean. Clean, it means no toxic, no harmful, no irritating ingredients towards your skin or your hormones or your entire well-being. I did a lot of research. I spent nearly one year researching ingredients that I want to put in my skincare. And um, I was devastated when I found so much information about United States of America, FDA approved ingredients. This is something that hasn't been changed since 1938. So almost a hundred years that FDA is actually not looking what companies in United States makes. So technically as the owner of skincare brand, I can tell you the truth how serums and cream made. Basically, I call the lab. I have my lab here in, in Florida. I say I need new cream. For example, I need the eye cream right now, making eye cream. And I send them ingredient. I can send them ingredient. I don't need to send them ingredient. I want to choose fragrance. I want to choose creamy, not creamy texture, even color. I can choose whatever I want. How I do, I make my lab chemists work easier. I send everything how I want, all the ingredients one by one after I did a lot of research and I say, make it like this, make it creamy, make thickness like this, make that it blends good, but ingredients cannot change. You have to make the way I want. So before I was making my cream, I got into fight with chemists basically because he's like, you know, you wanna do, this is too natural, blah, 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 this is not really good, la, 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 la. I would recommend you add this and this and this and this and this to make it smell better, add fragrance and stuff like this. I say the fragrance is gonna be a number one thing that I'm not going to put in my ingredients and I say make something that is not gonna smell bad, but I don't want fragrance in this. So my cream actually doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't have any smell. It maybe smells a little bit like sort of pharmacy, pharmaceutical. So basically in United States, um, there is only 11 harmful ingredients banned. And in the European Union, where they are very, very extremely, extremely careful, it has been 1,300, over 1,300 ingredients that you cannot include in the skincare. Can you guys just imagine in European Union, 1,300 versus in United States ban only 11 harmful ingredients. Does it make sense to you? You already can understand. Um, so I wanna tell you a few, I'm gonna pop table over here, a few of the ingredients that are um, not really safe. Maybe guys, you're not gonna die from that, but in some way, eventually in your life, this might have some negative impact towards your health, towards your hormones, towards fertility, some cancers, especially breast cancer being related to so many bad ingredients. If you are a woman and if you care about your health, about your children's health, I will highly, highly, highly recommend to watch this video until the end because I care about what you are going to apply on your skin. It's your choice. You can do it. You don't need to listen. You can say, Jen, I'm not agreeing with you. I don't care. I'm going to apply what I always apply. Really, I don't, I don't care. I'm making for those people who are aware and who care what they eat and what they apply on the skin because skin is the biggest organ. When you apply some 
toxic and irritating ingredient, chances like 80% that is going to absorb, absorb in your bloodstream, in your organs. And let's say you can apply bleach on your skin. There's nothing going to happen maybe one time, maybe 10 times and 100 times, but eventually something is going to happen to your skin. It's like you wouldn't apply on the wound something toxic. You wouldn't apply on your heart, on your lungs, on your bowels, kidney, liver, anything. You couldn't apply like toxic ingredient perfume directly on your lungs, let's say. Why would you apply on the skin? The skin is your organ. Just, just like think about that. So few ingredients that I said to my chemist, I am not going to include this and do what you want to do but i am not including these ingredients so the first was fragrance it's no 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 and i'm gonna talk about why fragrance is not good in a minute but it was parabens there's methyl butyl there is a lot of parabens i say no parabens i say no fragrance i say fragrance or um, perfume is the same thing no sodium low real sulfate no sodium low, low red sulfate uh, no animal fat my brand is completely completely cruelty free and vegan and only just plant-based ingredients. So now guys, we're going to discuss five must knows on the dangers of synthetic fragrance. So I'm gonna link down below a bunch of articles talking about how research came to the conclusion that fragrance is better to have out of your life. We are going to discuss how environmental working group, which is EWG, where I mainly focus on that. I focus on Paula's Choice because these people do a lot of research on uh, ingredients. Basically made my products based on these two sources. If you guys are like kind of interested about uh, how I build my skincare brand, let me know down in comments below because I can make a video how I built my skincare brand, where I started, where I did my research, how I made it. It's actually not hard, it's just a lot of research and it's not really something that you can do. Anybody can make skincare brand, but for, for that you have to dedicate your time, your heart, a little bit of finances and um, really, really love what you're doing. So for me, in any skincare brand, especially my skincare brand, research, it was the number one that I care about, especially anything related towards the health. I had a lot of health issues with starting with the acne, rosacea, um, psoriasis, I still have this dermatitis, I still have psoriasis once in a while coming on my face, but way, way less after I cut out fragrance from my life. And before I used to use a lot of fragrance, I used to get irritated skin, I used to say, what is going on? Why is this happening? And the longer I use fragrance in skincare products, the more my skin was thinner and more sensitive and more red. Right now, I don't have even foundation on my skin and I don't think I need it. I have a little bit like eyeshadow shadow mascara and stuff like this uh, before if you guys gonna come back like four three years ago and watch my videos I had so much makeup because I was trying to cover all my imperfect skin and I don't say that this only fragrance cause but a lot of I never like when I bought some skincare product I never read labels I never read ingredients I really didn't care I just took smells nice says good I buy it right now. No, 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 no. I'm going to take my time. I'm getting old because I care about my health. I take a product. I read the entire label. If I don't know something about the product, I Google because I'm going to, if I'm going to find some product that I like, I'm going to use this product for the rest of my life and I'm not going to need to over and over and over investigate the product. What is fragrance? This is so crazy. This is why you should avoid fragrance. Number one, it's crazy. 95% of the chemicals in synthetic fragrances are derived from petrochemicals. <laughs> These chemicals include benzene derivatives, aldehydes, phthalates, which is phthalate is really bad, and few of other known toxins that are capable of causing cancer, birth defects, nervous system disorder, allergies. Guys, this is crazy. This is insane. I'm gonna link way more article about saying this thing. It's doing bad for your health. Let's go more. Where is hiding in the USA? Manufacturers can legally hide hundreds of synthetic chemicals and in the word fragrance. It's very true. I told you already, I can put in my cream bottle whatever I want. Really, honestly, I can put mercury in there. I can put silicones. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. I can put anything I want. Just letting you know, 
I don't have these ingredients. And there is no institution, there is no FDA controlling that, there is nobody reading my labels, there is nobody testing what I have in the cream, there is nobody. Basically, since 1938, there is nobody checked any product in the United States. It's referring as a trade secret in the industry. But really, it's a simple loophole big enough to drive fuel truck through. This excuse is no label fragrance ingredients was initiated in the era when the major fragrance houses lobby to protect their secret formula made from flowers and oils, but those days are long gone. What the government is protecting our manufacturers who have a license to poison the American public with more than 3,000 chemicals that are being absorbed, inhaled, and ingested daily. You can ingest it daily. If I have a lipstick that has some mercury in it, talking right now, and maybe I'm swallowing some small pieces, maybe I do, nobody knows. So those products that he says fragrance-free, it can be lie because again, United States FDA does not check on this. So why should they work? Okay. An environmental working group, EWG, researchers found more than 75% of products listing in the ingredient fragrance contained fatalis, which have been shown to disrupt hormone activity, reduce sperm counts, and cause reproductive malformation, and have been linked to liver and breast cancer diabetes and obesity from my inf information what i have done research a lot before creating my brand about the breast cancer all the parabens methyl parabens if you see an ingredient with a paraben the end of the word avoid it because that's been linked to breast cancer they took sample of the breast cancer tissue and they found a lot of parabens in that and I can link the article as well. Also, diabetes and obesity. Additional studies by Dr. Philip of the Mount Sinai Children and Environmental Health Center link fetal exposure with autism, ADHD, and neurological disorders. Fragrance. I'm not gonna say anything. You you probably you probably know by my face that I don't like that, and uh, it's, it's up to you. But if you have children that can be even even linked to autism i read this book um gab's book by natasha campbell about my health because i have health issues and stuff like this um how we are daily exposed to the toxins that we don't know we don't see we we just don't have information we are not all taught by government we are not taught at school we don't know this but how many daily uh, toxins we are ingesting or being absorbed on the skin or eating food that has bad ingredients sprayed by all these um, chemicals and stuff like this. It's it's crazy how autism is actually, if you've always been loaded with the toxins and you live in a very, very toxic environment, there is a high chance that eventually um, someone in their neighborhood gonna have autism and children. Children um, can be born with autism, but also they might be coming through your um, mother from your grandmother someone has can be carrier of these toxins inside this is completely different topic and I will I will link um, Dr. Natasha Campbell video that she talks about this autism because she was the woman the doctor that she cured her child from autism of course there is some um, uh, lives that uh, only until six or seven years old you can cure the child and stuff like this but basically autism is is the root cause of autism is a toxin a lot of toxicity in your body and when you're over like seven or eight years old a, ch a child you can cure that you can manage and stuff like this but she cured her child and today after like probably like 20 years her child is no more autistic behaves normal and stuff like this so this is an entire different topic this is me something i discovered i just read her her book i, I love her a lot because i learned about skin the health a lot from her the next thing how do i avoid fragrance many of us work hard to make good food choices such as eating organic and avoiding hormones and gmos and we read nutrition labels but how many of us read the labels of our bottles sprays and jars a majority of personal skincare products for men, women, and children, along with the home cleaning products, contain fragrance. The ingredients in fragrance are absorbed into the bloodstream directly through the skin. We advise people to avoid all the products with the ingredient fragrance on the label, including perfumes and colognes, baby lotions and wipes, air fresheners and candles, dry sheet detergents, and so on. So everything in my house, I I change. You don't have to do like radical, like rapid change. I change the 
little by little one product I finish I throw away I never bought it back for the shampoo it's very very important and why actually I'm going to tell you the truth right now why I decided to make this video one of my employees she is representative of Monat hair care line if you know and I was like oh wow let's do it you know this is amazing I received these products and I'm like okay before I use before I open I'm gonna read it because I trust her she's saying it's natural ingredients blah 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 so I'm reading da, 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 fragrance, benzyl peroxide, benzyl alcohol, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna be representative of something that ingredients I don't like, but she's like, you can make a lot of money. We'll show on YouTube a little bit, you know, you will make so much money because da, da, da. I say, look, I'm not about money. I'm about being honest to my follower. I not gonna ever ever in my life sell something that my heart doesn't trust doesn't matter how much money somebody's going to pay me if i know fragrance is not good for me and for my client i'm never gonna sell anything anything no matter how much money somebody is going to give so i had to decline her offer to be a representative of monad and um, whatever you're using it's fine you can use it but my personal opinion i'm not gonna do this read the labels the most important thing as i already mentioned guys read the labels is so 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 important i'm just asking you begging you because i love you guys so so much i want you to live longer i want you to be healthier i want you to have no problems with the skin and this is from my own experience and from my own research i took so many hours to study so many days to study before i launched my own skincare brand please read the labels not everything it's bad that is synthetic but the fragrance is one of those things that everybody should avoid and really really not good what i want to say to you guys there is so many many reasons why you should avoid fragrance i will say the number one it's very very the most important is your health it can cause a lot of health issues some perfume you know i use perfume right now i started using more and more like those uh, perfume as a roll oil i still have those perfume like regular perfumes that i have to finish but one thing what i do perfume i never spray on my chest especially guys don't spray perfume either here or here or here because this is like lymphatic drainage happening especially over here we have a lymph detoxing and cleaning through here and don't spray perfume i just you know how i do i spray in the air and then with the clothes i walk in or i if i have like few layers of on me of the clothes like let's say some shirt and t-shirt and some shirt on the top jacket then i spray like in front of me and then straight away basically mostly on my uh on my clothes but still you know i'm trying to walk in like be very careful how you spray perfume on yourself i just really really why i'm making this video i i, I don't want to brag about my brand how amazing is that I have something, I created something natural, organic, plant-based ingredients. Also from my client reviews, you can go to my website and check out people saying how happy they are that their skin finally is not irritated by the cream that I made versus that they've been using creams from the other companies that smells nice, feels good, but irritate the skin and versus me that i don't have any fragrance in my skincare brand and so many women actually thank me for not having any chemicals in my skincare brand hope you guys like this video if you have any questions please leave me down below please subscribe if you haven't because i have a lot of uh similar skincare related videos i love giving advice and i love giving tips and i hope at least one person benefits from this video so thank you guys so so much i love you so so much I send you many kisses wherever you are in the world and thank you. Bye!